Now in this session we are going to talk about graphs. Okay, so let's start with the definition. How do we define graph? We say that graph is an ordered pair. Okay, it is an ordered pair V comma E. So I'm going to define it now. It is an ordered pair V comma E where V is a set of vertices okay vertices are just points okay and E is a set of edges what is edges where a edge is simply a where a edge is simply a line joining pair of vertices or a vertice to itself okay joining a pair of vertices or vertice to itself so let's take an example let us suppose I have couple of vertex okay let's suppose this is v1 okay then I have v2 over here v3 over here and v4 and v5 okay so what is v over here your v is the set of vertices which is v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 okay now we are going to draw some edges so let us suppose my edges are like this I have a edge from v1 v2 okay then a edge like let's suppose like this let us draw the points okay then I have a edge connecting these two a edge connecting these okay a edge connecting these and a edge connecting this okay we have defined graph where a edge is line joining a pair of vertices or a vertex to itself okay so we can also have a edge like this okay here what I have done is I have drawn a line where v3 is connecting v3 itself okay so now let us give names to my edges let us suppose I call this edge as E12, this one as E23, this one as E33, call this as E43, E54, okay, E24, E15, okay. So I have named all my edges. So my set of edges over here is going to be what? My set of edges is E is equal to E12, which is a edge connecting V1 and V2, okay. E23, which is a edge connecting V2 and v V3, and so on, okay. I have E24. I have E54, I have E43, I have E33, is that it? I have E15, okay? I have total 7 edges. So this is my graph, okay? And how do I represent this graph? I am going to represent G, where this is G, right? This is the graph that I am talking about and G is equal to V comma E, where V is defined like this and E is defined like this. So this is what a graph looks like. How your vertices are a set and how your edges are a set is also described over here okay so that is your definition of a graph in an example now let's look at few terminologies okay first we are going to look at what is an end or terminal vertices okay so a end or terminal vertice 
for a h e i j v i and v j are known as terminal or end vertices okay so that's about terminal vertices so in our this particular graph i'm just going to write that for e3 or rather e43 the terminal vertices are v4 and v3 okay so for e43 terminal vertices are v4 and v3 okay in the above graph in this particular graph and similarly for e23 what are the terminal vertices the terminal vertices are v2 and v3 okay the next terminology that we are going to look at now is known as a loop okay so a loop is defined as follows for an edge if both terminal vertices are same then it's known as a loop okay then the edge is known as the loop okay so if i have to give you an example just look at e33 okay here both the terminal vertices are same the terminal vertices are v3 only okay so e3 is called as a loop on v3 okay so example would be v33 terminal vertices are let's not call it as v33 because it is e33 okay terminal vertices are v3 okay therefore e33 is a loop okay we also write it as a loop on v3 okay so that was about your loops next we are going to look at what is an isolated vertex okay so isolated vertex is simply a vertex which is not a terminal edge for any of the not a terminal vertex okay a vertex which is not a terminal vertex for any of the edges in the graph okay is known as a isolated vertex for any of the edges in the graph okay so what does this mean for this what i am going to do is i am going to copy this particular graph okay and let us paste it over here now here what i am going to do is i am going to add one more vertex over here let us call this vertex as v6 okay so over here we have v5 and v6 now just understand there is no edge which is connected to v6 okay which basically means v6 is not a terminal edge for any of the edges in this particular graph it is not a terminal vertex for any of the edges in this particular graph it is isolated from rest of the graph okay rest of the vertices okay therefore v6 is known as an isolated vertex okay so i'm just going to write that v6 is an isolated vertex okay 
now we are going to look at what are parallel edges okay so we are going to define it like this if there are more than one edges between same pair of terminal vertices then they are known as parallel edges okay terminal vertices then they are known as parallel edges okay so let us take an example i am just going to have the same graph and i am going to modify it to show you where do we have parallel edges okay so let us call this graph as g3 what i am going to do is i am going to add one more edge like this okay and i am going to call this edge as e42 or let's call it as e24 dash okay so in this case what do we have we have e24 and e24 dash have the same terminal vertices right which are what which are v2 and v4 okay therefore they are parallel edges okay parallel edges now we are going to define what is a simple graph a simple graph is defined as a graph having no loops and parallel edges okay and if the graph is not simple then it is known as a multi graph okay so i'm just going to write if a graph has no loops and parallel edges then it is known as a simple graph otherwise it is known as a multi graph otherwise a multi graph okay so this is for both simple and a multi graph right so the example would be very obvious let us suppose i have a graph like this i have a vertex here vertex here vertex here and vertex here and i am going to connect it like this okay then this is what this is a simple graph okay and the same thing if i am going to have something like this then this is going to be a multi graph also if i have something like this then this is also a multi graph okay you can have both loops and parallel edges and even that would be a multi graph okay so this is a multi graph and you can have just a loop and even that would be a multi graph so over here this is a simple graph this is a multi graph okay let me just copy this 
even this is a multigraph okay because it has a loop this is a multigraph because it has a parallel edge and a loop and this is a multigraph because it has a loop okay